Hi, and welcome to Studio SN. My name is Sarah Newman, and today I want to show you a technique for stenciling and chalking on text paper. I love using text paper as a background for my stencils because it already has a pattern which you can then incorporate into your design. It's kind of like you're starting with an instant layer. And you can see on here, this portion of my card is a piece of paper that I tore out from an old novel. And it's been painted and it's also been stenciled using chalk and embossing paste. So let me show you how I've done this. First, I need my book paper. Now, if the idea of tearing a sheet of paper out of a book is a, not sitting well with you, then never fear because you can always find scrapbooking paper that has a similar pattern on it and you won't have to tear apart a book. Um, if it makes you feel any better, I do tear apart lots of books that I find in the recycling bin for the most part. So they're, they're bound for the recycling bin anyway, so I, I tend to give them a new life. But what I want to do first of all with my text paper is mute back some of the text. And to do that, I'm going to use my snow cap dabber, and this is from Ranger. What I like about this is that it will give me just enough white paint. I don't want to obliterate the text, but I do just want to kind of knock it back a little bit. It gives me enough white paint, but it doesn't um, give me so much that the paper is going to be warped and buckly. So as you can see, and of course, that dabber top makes it easy to apply. You can see that it's just shading it back a little bit. Then I just need to let it dry and I will have something that looks like this. So this has already been dry and I just tore um, the piece in half. So then the next thing I can do is start mixing up my uh, mixture for stenciling. And I'm going to use a little bit of blue decorator's chalk. This is from Crafty Productions. I've had this for about, um, I don't know, probably 15 years. Um, those of you who've been in scrapbooking for a while probably remember buying a set of chalk. Well, you can get it out now because there's lots of cool things that you can do with them. They last you forever, which means that sometimes you can kind of forget about them. So I'm going to mix this with a little bit of embossing paste, white embossing paste to stencil through. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to have, I didn't want to simply apply the chalk on here. I wanted to see what else I could do with it. I wanted a little bit of dimension on here. And let me bring this back in. If you were to rub your hand on this area, you would be able to feel that it is slightly raised and textured. I didn't want it to get so um, diluted in color, otherwise I could have mixed it with white paint. But as you can see on here, the color is very true to the chalk as to what I've got on here. And I didn't want it to be too watery to seep underneath the stencil, so I didn't mix it with water. So. Um, the next thing to try would be the white embossing paste. This is the Wendy Vecchi Studio 490 embossing paste from Dreamweaver. So this is what I decided to use. So I'm going to mix up a little bit right here on my craft sheet. And the first thing I'll need to do is shave off, using a palette knife or some other kind of knife, just shave off some of the chalk. Kind of tap that out so I have a little pile of chalk dust. Okay, you don't need a whole lot. And then I need to get out some of my um, embossing paste. I'm going to clean off my palette knife before I put it in there. And the embossing paste, you also won't need very much of that. The embossing paste looks kind of like this. So as I'm holding my palette knife, you can see it's not dripping off or sliding off. It's a nice texture. And this is what's going to give my um, chalk a little bit of texture as well. So again, you don't need to mix up very much, just enough to get whatever portion of the stencil you want. And you can see that that color is still really true. It hasn't gotten bleached out or um, it's not really runny or anything else. So I'm ready to use this on my um, with my stencil. So let me bring in my stencil. And the one that I'm using is the Punchinella stencil. This is from the Crafters Workshop. It's got three portions of it. It's a 12 by 12 stencil, so you can't see the whole thing, but it's got these three areas, so stars, chicken wire, and the dots, all of which it looks like need to be cleaned. So anyway, we're gonna use the dots on here, and I'm just going to place this down onto my paper, kind of hold this down here, and I'm going to apply my embossing paste with my finger because using the palette knife for this I find just doesn't give me as much control as this does. So I'm just going to rub this in. And I can also tell a little bit better when I use my finger if I'm getting around all of those circle areas or if I need to come back and um, add a little bit more. 
So you could do all of the dots, you could do some of the dots, you could do a pattern, you could do a portion of it, whatever you really want to do, and whatever suits the design of your card or your project. So I'm just kind of rubbing this in. I can add as much or as little as I want. I can have some be lighter and some be darker. Totally up to you. Okay, so now I'm going to clean off my finger and clean up this area with just a baby wipe. And then I'm going to pull this stencil off and you can see how cool is that? Super easy to do and I've got a really nice color and a nice texture on there. I just need to let this dry. It won't take very long at all and then I am ready to use it on my card. So let me bring back in my original card here and show you what I've done. So I've just simply put this piece down onto a piece of brown cardstock. Now this area here, this is a stamped border design. I think you can see that well on there. And that is from the Eclectica stamp set. This is ESN 06, one that I designed for Paper Artsy. And it's this pattern down here. So that border has been stamped going along there. I also used the same stamp set for a secret discovery. So just to tuck that underneath the flower. The background paper looks like it's been stamped. It goes with this design really well. And this is from Authentique, and this is their Essentials collection. So it's a six by six pattern design. So it's got this design already on it, and I just used a brown um, card, piece of cardstock for my card base. So I've got some ribbon tied in a knot wrapped around this portion, and then a white paper flower with a brad going through the center. And this has been foam taped up there, so it has a little bit more dimension to kind of mirror the dimension and the texture of this piece on here. So this is how you can combine stencils, chalk, and embossing paste with your text background papers to create some really fun card textures and designs. I really hope you enjoyed today's show. For more ideas and inspiration, please stop by my website at sarahnewman.com. Thank you so much for joining me on Studio SN, and I will see you again next time.